Hi, this is Cheryl bringing you your Dorn Safety Minute, and today we are discussing hazard recognition in the workplace. How can you do your part to maintain a hazard-free and safe working environment? Here are a few tips. Number one, collect existing information about your specific work area. Are you familiar with the equipment, the machinery, know where the operating manuals are at? Uh, can you check previous records of injuries or illnesses that may have happened in your workplace? What was corrected to fix or prevent these future problems? Number two, inspect your workplace for hazards. Just conducting regular inspections of all operations, equipment, work areas, is everything in proper working order and up to code. You could even have your workers participate on the inspection team and talk to them about hazards that they see and that have reported in the past. Number three, identify health hazards. For example, physical hazards. Is there exposure to excessive noise, elevated heat, repetitive motion? All these things can lead to possible injury. Number four, conduct incident investigations. Look to the past to prevent problems in the future. What you wanna do here is to make sure that things were thoroughly investigated. There's reports, uh, you can identify hazards that are likely to cause future harm and find ways to prevent things from happening again. Number five, identify hazards that associate with emergencies with a non-routine situation. What you're looking for here is the surprise. Fires, explosions, hazardous material spills, tornadoes, structural damage, alien invasion, etc. What is your action plan or protocol when something unexpected occurs? So at the end of the day, being well informed on your company's safety measures, or at least knowing how to find this information, is the best way to keep yourself and those around you safe. So being proactive is essential to identifying and preventing hazards where you are. This is Cheryl bringing you your safety minute.